What do you want me to hey! Yes. hey! It's time for your weekly Cusco Uncut. Uh, for those of you who watch it for the first time, we do videos three times a week. One, two of them are cut to shreds. Hundreds of cuts. Thousands of cuts. Tens of thousands of cuts. This video, no cuts whatsoever. And uh, let's go. We're here at my buddy Scott Bolter's house, and Scott just hatched a fantastic clutch of reticulated pythons. Garrett Hartle's hiding in the back there. If you watched the last video, if you didn't watch the last video, you should go back and watch it because we found some amazingly gorgeous snakes out there in Santa Cruz with uh, Mr. Brian Gundy. And now we're here. I mentioned in the last video we were going to come to Scott's place, check out his clutch. I decided we'll just do it on cut. And Garrett imparted all kinds of retic genetics into our brains, most of which we've forgotten in the past three minutes. So we're gonna try and identify these things successfully and Jared will be right behind our shoulder. He's trying to hide, but he's gonna be back there like correcting us possibly. Scott, pop your face and see how tall, oh, this, he's way back there. This is a forced perspective. Scott is actually like a foot taller than me. Oh my God, let's, let's do this. There we go. You see, that's what's really happening. <laughs> so let's bring this tub over here. I don't know that we'll remember any of this. Scott's gonna let me try and explain it to the best because he says that he forgot as well. Scott, do you remember? No. No, you don't remember? Okay, well, the pairing was a uh, Sunfire Platinum Genetic Stripe. No. No. Sun Sunfire <laughs> Genetic Stripe Possible Head Albino. Sunfire Genetic Stripe Possible Head Albino. It was a 66% possible head genetic stripe, but it proved out, so it's now 100% head since it proved. The male. The male. The By the way, we always say male first. It's not sexist. It's just how we keep okay, it straight well, in our heads. The male is Phantom Sun Platy. Phantom Sun Platy. 66% genetic stripe. It's now 100% genetic stripe uh, possible head albino to a Sunfire... Uh, genetic possible stripe. no sunfire genetic stripe sunfire genetic stripe posset albino posset albino and now we're gonna try to identify the babies we couldn't even identify the parents <laughs> that's why they all look head genetic like I'm having a hard time finding one that doesn't look head genetic yeah. they are all 100 head genetic so this one right here is a snake it's a reticulated python <laughs> it's a, actually this is a uh, a sunfire platinum right Garrett. Uh, where are you at? Yes. Ah, all right. We'll have to get started. They're all past super suns. Pa super yeah. sun is a really hard one to guarantee. Like if you're a boa guy, you get the the super hypos. Um, you know, sometimes you can pick them out. Sometimes a really good looking hypo looks like a super. So we're gonna say past super sun on all of these. This one, this is the most feisty of the entire clutch. Let's see if we can zoom in and actually get some focus on that feistiness. I need to fix my camera. There's some kind of issue with the focus. <laughs> That's all right. At least you can see it now. That's a uh, Sunfire Platinum Genetic Stripe? No. No, just Sunfire Platinum. Yes. Look beautiful. Look at that. Look at this, Scott. You must be excited. I am. Super I am. excited. These are hot. These this are this was the most... Yeah, see, this one has the, uh, this one has the most <laughs> attitude of the entire clutch. So you hand it to me so it's not distracting. So who's not distracting this one? Oh, it's not biting me anymore. Oh. We're friends now. Okay. Friends. It likes the camera. There's a lot. There's a lot of snakes in here, guys. I don't know if we're gonna get through all these snakes or not before. Um, I don't know before what. Let's just pick up a whole handful of them and be like, look at all these beautiful snakes. There. They are. They all have sunfire and platinum and genetic stripe. <laughs> and phantom. <laughs> and phantom. Do and want, uh, the albino. The albino didn't prove out. The I'm albino. Somebody. But look at look at that. Ah, oh, it's just fun to have a handful. You don't get to do this with ball python clutches because A, they're short. B, they're just not as many to do like big handfuls like this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> who's, who's having a nightmare right now? I'm having a, a, a wet dream because the snakes are wet. Scott? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. <laughs> Let's see if I can pick out the one that has the most genetics right at the bat. I think it's, I think I left it behind. I think it's this one right here. It's a f platinum, uh, phantom, no. Super sun. Platinum phantom super sun, that is it? Did you get it? You concur, sir? That is a sun, platy, phantom, <laughs> genetic stripe. Yeah. Possible super sun. Possible super sun. So this one has like everything. Mm-hmm. You wanna see the difference? So a het genetic stripe is very, very strongly visual. It shows up in everything. These are all 100% hats. So this would be 
the base starting. This is a Sunfire Poss Super Sun, and it's you know going to be a het genetic stripe. Leave that out from now, but you see how the Sunfire is a, a darker color, and the black fades into that you know yellow belly, the orange yellow belly color. Now, if you add platinum to it, platinum pixelates everything out. If you've seen the platinum video on my channel, you can actually get a good definition of that. So this is a Sunfire added platinum, and the platinum is gonna brighten the color, but see the difference between the black lines? The Sunfire fades down. The platinum is almost a pixelated, but it still has that smooth wavy coming through for the Sunfire. And that's why we keep Garrett around, folks. Yeah, yeah, every now and then I'm- <laughs> I'm sure I could learn it if you gave me another 10 minutes. This one is that platinum in a, with the Sunfire. So you can see the wavy and the pixelation, but you see how the black is no longer black. It's now almost like a hypo, and that's coming from the Phantom. So, Sun, Platy, Phantom. Now, even though this animal's very striped, you know, buy from a breeder that knows what's up or you, you're not gonna get a stripe, but you see how the side rosettes are still there, the little dots? So now, if I, add genetic stripe i subtracted phantom from this one but the genetic stripe the tail looks similar to the het genetic stripe but up here on the body you'll notice no more side rosettes it blended to that top pattern so this is a sun platy genetic stripe um yeah here yeah, these these two here i've got um this one is going to be this one right here is a Platinum, sorry, a phantom platinum, yes? Yes. Phantom platinum right here. And you can and see got it's it. very pixelated and the, the pattern is not smoothed together like a sunfire. Right, is. and this one right here is the phantom platinum sunfire. Right. Correct? Because yep. you got that floating pattern or floating way away from the tail. The sunfire yep. pulls everything up away from the body and the that focus on the it. camera pulls everything away from the fact that we're trying to talk about snakes and how they look. There you go. There you go. So, yes. platy phantom top. Sun platy phantom bottom. Even if you don't like genetic stripe, oh my gosh, the heads well, let's are hold amazing. That, let's hold it there again. The, the oh, focus didn't really focus. Uh, uh, so you can see the difference between how pixelated this one is that I'm holding and how smooth and clean the bottom one is. Yeah. Here you go. Awesome. That's it. That's not it. We didn't. We definitely did not look at every single. Oh, snake you want to look at every single let's, one? Well, let's look at right. some of the genetic stripes. Well, here's this is genetic stripe with sunfire only. A normal genetic stripe would be a blue-gray on the bottom. This one's obviously orange. And they have these like lava magma flow looking tails. So that's a sun stripe. Could be a super sun stripe. Then, you know, let's see. Where's our other genetic stripes? Now, you take this guy. You can see how dark he is. Um, if you want to add platinum to it, you get this. Just brightens the whole thing up. And again, gives a little bit of a pixelated color on there. And where's our all-in-one snake? I think I showed. I think I showed the all-in-one snake. Yep. Well, I'm just kind of. Oh, just to compare. Them. So, sun stripe, sun platy stripe, sun platy phantom stripe. Can you get closer? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, they're definitely beautiful. Oh, look at your thumb, dude. Your thumb has a smiley face. Can you bring your thumb back up? Closer, closer. Oh, it looks like your thumb had a smiley face. It's gone. Now it's a sad face. <laughs> there you have it. Beautiful. I like this one. I like that one, too. Mr. Bitey. For Pink. obvious reasons. Look at, the look at the contrast and color on that. So, just a sun platy. If you just want a lot of wow in one snake at a lower price. Well, I don't know what you're going to price these at, Scott, but this is... Like market value, one of the lower market values, but holy crap, look at that snake. That is quite gorgeous. And it happens to be the most feisty one, which makes it like extra fun. Sun platy. <laughs> and then if I want to add, again, phantom on top, you're going to get that same looking snake, but instead of all that black, this hypos that sucker out. So if you want a really expensive one, you get this one. Crazy. 100% hit. Sherry, pause set up on Scott, get yourself, get yourself in here and embarrass yourself. Come on. I don't want to. <laughs> Scott's, I'm afraid Scott, of the camera. Scott's extremely humble. He's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life, honestly. <laughs> well, you say that about everybody. No, I say that about a handful of people. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't say it about Garrett. I mean, it's like, maybe if I drink enough or like, oh, look at that yawn. 
awesome. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a big yawn. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. Oh! <laughs> that was fantastic, dude. They are. Oh, she, man. What if this one just did an awesome yawn? Yeah, that was a killer, like long, killer away. Looked like it was re readjusting its jaw after a meal. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uncut. Thank you, Scott, for having us. There's a link down in the description for Scott's nice Instagram where you can find Thank you. his stuff and follow Thank this you for the help. awesome gentleman right. right here. I'm going to run through his house, which he doesn't want me to do, so I'm going to cover the camera just so I can show you guys something. <laughs> Running through the house with my hand over the lens. <laughs> there you go. He lives it, too. He lives that right there. So it's a certain spirit that we all try to carry, something I definitely try to carry on a daily basis and Scott definitely does that so anyway folks guys have yourselves a great day take care of yourselves take care of each other see you on the next video Woo!